If you've been on the Halo YouTube algorithm the past year, you've likely seen these videos floating around. The creator behind these videos, Vernissage, is an upcoming Halo content creator and I was fortunate enough to sit down and chat with him about his creative process, so let's get right into it. What's going on everyone, my name is Danny GG and today we're going to be exploring the world of Vernissage. If you haven't seen his content yet, I highly recommend going and checking out his channel and then coming right back to this video to get some more insight and behind the scenes on his work. Also throughout the video, I will have his art cycling on the screen so you can see just how talented he is. With that out of the way, please join me for an interview with Vernissage, the art of Halo. All right, Vernissage, welcome to the channel. I appreciate you joining me today, and I'm super excited to be talking to you about the amazing Halo art that you make. So just want to thank you again for joining me, and I'm excited to talk to you today. Oh, well, thanks for having me. It's uh, it's great. My first interview. I'm happy it's with Danny GG. <laughs> thanks, man. Hopefully the first of many for you. And if you guys are new to Vernissage's content, I'll have all of his links in the description below. He makes probably some of the best Halo content on YouTube right now. Um, super entertaining, definitely worth your time to watch and check it out. For my first question, um, I've always wondered, what is your background as an artist? Uh, I think you mentioned on the side that you were in an art school, um, but I really like to know more about that because this stuff is not basic art. This is some next level, like professional stuff in my opinion. So I'd love to hear about your experience. Thanks, man. Uh, well, like like the first time I uh, was interested in art was probably back in maybe 2005, something like that, when I was probably six years old, maybe younger. Uh, and I watched uh, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man, and oh, I, nice. fell in love, I fell in love with it. So I just started like painting Spider-Man and stuff. Uh, that's kind of how it started. And then I started some. Uh, I started. I started going to a it's an art school, uh, like on a free time, and just like practicing, I guess, and uh, trying some different techniques and stuff. And yeah, and I kept going to different art schools. Uh, I just wanted to, you know, explore the world of art. Uh, sometimes I got bored of it. Sometimes I kept going. Uh, there were some dips here and there, and I actually have like a few old paintings of uh, Halo stuff from when I was like eight years old. <laughs> uh, That's awesome. I love to find. Um, yeah, definitely yeah. send it over if uh, if you want. And if you really would like, I would I could share it in this video and show everyone. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll see if I can find them. That'd be great. Yeah, but, uh, but yeah, I started at another art school and uh, I made some friends there and we uh, we decided to make like art Instagrams. Most of us had art, art Instagram, so we just posted our art and stuff. Uh, so I made my own. I chose the name Vernissage because it's a pun of my the three first letters of my uh, last name and uh, uh, and yeah, and the word Vernissage, which is an art exhibition. And yeah, and it was kind of a joke. I just posted like shitty artworks and stuff. Uh, but then a few years ago, I guess like two years ago. So it wasn't that long ago. I just posted a, uh, some Halo artwork and hashtagged Halo Spotlight. And uh, and yeah, I got some international followers. Awesome. And then, yeah, and, uh, I then made some uh, some helmets. Maybe you've maybe you've seen them. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I made some helmets that uh, I guess people really want to see them. I don't know why, but I just like compared like Master Chief's different helmets and stuff and uh, showed the evolution of uh, certain helmets. So that's kind of where I first blew up in a way. And, I, and as you said, you were there from the beginning, so I actually saw the beginning of Vernissage. Yeah, it was a pretty epic beginning for sure. I've been with you since the Instagram days, at least the, the Halo Instagram. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you mentioned you started with Sam Raimi's Spider-Man. That's, that's so funny. So what was your reaction to that? Uh, trailer the other day. Oh, I love it. 
I, I'm gonna <laughs> love that movie. I, I don't care if it's good or not. As long as there's some Sam Raimi characters in there, I'm happy. I'm really that's happy. awesome. And it's interesting uh, that you started with Spider-Man and now like one of your big things is the Halo helmets. I, would you say there's any like kind of transferable skills of maybe drawing like a Spider-Man head to like a helmet kind of thing, like a visor? Yeah, I, I think I think it makes sense in a way because uh, like uh, when I started painting Spider-Man, I was I realized quite quickly that he looks flat unless you put some shading on him. Mm -hmm. So by doing Spider-Man, which you know he just wears like spandex, so there's a lot of you, you you gotta put some shading on him to make him look more realistic. So I think that kind of made me like got me interested in shading stuff. So uh, quite early on, I wanted to learn how, how like shadows work <laughs> and you know how light works. Yeah. So Spider-Man kind of brought you to the next level and kind of got you a new artistic challenge, which is pretty cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, then I kept that going and I guess you could kind of see that in my helmets that I make now that I focus quite a lot on the shadows and stuff and like on the lighting because I think that. Yeah just bring something else to the presentation. So that's what I set out to do. Absolutely. I've, I've noticed that in all of your helmet redesigns that the lighting is extremely realistic. Like for the first couple of videos, I thought like the base helmets were somehow like taken from the game. But now looking back, I'm like, ah, like this man drew them and like colored everything. And uh, it's extremely detailed, um, which is really cool. But I'm you mentioned- I'm glad I could you. <laughs> yeah. No, for, for sure. Like it, it's it's extremely realistic. Like it looks like a 3D render or, Thanks, man. you know, something in Blender or something. But you mentioned you did some painting. Um, what was kind of your your path of like art mediums? Like how did you start like pencil and then moved it to painting? Or I don't even know how the path kind of works for that. Yeah, I, th I think it's different for all people, I guess. But as most people, I started with just pencil and some paper. <laughs> so that's that was kind of my thing for a while. Uh, since I was doing a lot of shading, I just like to use, you know, a standard pencil, no colors. So I focused on the shading. But uh, going into like, uh, I guess like six years ago uh, or something like that, I started doing some uh, digi uh, digital uh, paintings with a, uh, what's it called? I don't even know what it's called. What is it? Like, like, like a, one of those uh, digital pen yeah, pad yeah, things. Yeah, exactly. God, I, I use it all the time. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> a whack -em thing. I'm not sponsored. Uh, uh, but yeah, so uh, that's when I started doing some digital painting. I started quite small, but now I I don't think I've touched pencil and paper in like years because I'm just wow. addicted to doing it digitally. And it's, I don't know, it's, it's I guess it's a bad thing in a way because you kind of need this. I don't know. It's, it's good to have it, you know, be physical sometimes, but... I really like doing it digitally. It's uh, just, I can do like- There's an undo button. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> do, 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 do sometimes when I sit with a pencil and paper, I just click like control Z, but then I realize <laughs> it's not a it's not a keyboard. So I can't Oh no. It. Yeah, uh, so it's that bad. So now I just do it digitally and uh, I'm never going back. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Wow, that's awesome. So something I've wondered when looking at your content and watching your videos and can you walk us through like your design process a little bit like you see a helmet let's use halo 5 for example that you don't exactly like and then like how do you get from that to your redesign that's a that's a good question because uh some people have asked me to like uh, record my progress and stuff yeah, I mean, like my a process. time lapse or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the reason I haven't done that, it's not because I'm, it's not because I'm stealing my art, and I don't want to admit it, <laughs> believe it or not. It's, uh, it's the biggest reason is because I, I'm still not comfortable with doing that because I, I usually don't have like a clear view of what I want to do before I do it. I mm -hmm. usually just sit down with it. I have no real ideas, and then I just. I go. I, ju I I just try different things. Some th some things don't work. Some things do, and I just it's just trial and error basically. Which <laughs> I don't know. I guess I could record it, but it, I don't. I, I'm just not that comfortable with it yet. But I it, it is something I want to start doing. So I'll probably look into that. 
but uh, but yeah, the process is uh, it's always a bit different, but especially with the helmets and I guess with weapons as, as well. I usually look at what the original design, like what, like what the center of interests are on the original designs, like what things pop out, what things are crucial to this design that lets us know it's this particular design. Yeah. Uh, so, um, like for example, uh, yeah, if, if you look at like uh, if you look at Locke's helmet, like mm -hmm. uh, one of the most iconic things is his thin visor. So, I mean that yeah. that's a that's a crucial part. His mouthpiece is really like sharp and thin. Like I, I not so much I not so much look at the small details, the ones I'm probably gonna remove. I just look at the like the big details and see if I can exaggerate them a bit. Awesome. Yeah, that makes sense. And I think you've definitely uh, accomplished that in, in most of your redesigns. Like you said, you kind of pick a definitive or like a defining feature of something and make sure to keep that intact and yeah. make the design around it. Cool. Yeah, exactly. All right. One final question to wrap it up here. What's your favorite Halo piece that you've created or redesigned? That's a tough one. Uh, I want to say like the thing I'm working on now it looks Yo. pretty good, but I, I can't say anything. <laughs> um, but but let me see. I guess I think I would say Tanaka is like my favorite redesign. It's pretty simple, but I just really like what I what I did with that. To me, it looks recognizable, but it just looks like something that came out of Halo Reach. And yeah. it's I'm not I'm not always very. Uh, happy about my own art, but I, I was pretty happy about that one. So I'm, I'm glad I could do what I set out to do on that one. I also really like that one, especially in the, the mouthpiece area. You kind of made it like a more classic vent style. Yeah, which, yeah, exactly. And that, that side attachment, very Halo Reach-esque. Yeah. Awesome. You've definitely inspired me a lot in some of my content um, that I made recently. I really like your style. Obviously, your artwork is is amazing, but your Thank style you. is like like relaxed. But it's also like you're always making a an important point. Like I don't know, it's 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 cool. Yeah, so. thanks, man. I, I'm really get, glad to hear that because uh, I I I've never really been good at you know talking. I guess like uh, like in school and stuff. I don't know. I was just, I was so awkward. And and if you if you would hear my my recordings, I mean, I make I make so many mistakes. Like uh, I miss every every lineup. I'm glad I, it seems like I I have it all under control. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely really well put together, and and the videos flow pretty cohesively. That definitely shows. Vernissage, I'd like to thank you one more time for joining me, and I hope all your fans enjoy getting a little sneak peek into your design process and hearing about your art background thank you man Th thanks for thanks for having me on i uh, i really like what you do as well i think you should uh, just keep going with what you're what you're doing and uh i just hope just hope we're seeing more of danny gg <laughs> thanks man I'm, I'm trying out here it's it's a tough world and in, in the youtube <laughs> when, when you don't have crazy artistic skills you just gotta <laughs> no. <laughs> scrape it. it i think you cool. could do something amazing thanks man all right well you heard it from the man and uh that's gonna do it so go subscribe to him see ya see ya